In this video, I'm going to explain for you the water level indicator with alarm for underground tank. This video tend to explain for you the circuit itself and its components. Here, as you can see, this is the the whole diagram of water level indicator it is based mainly on transistors configured as a switch and these these two transistors tr8 and tr9 as b stable circuit ic1 as mono stable multivibrator and IC2 as a standard A stable multivibrator. The whole circuit is powered with 9 volts DC. This is the main part of the water level indicator. The circuit is based on four transistors switches. Each transistor is switched on to drive the corresponding LEDs LEDs when its base is supplied with current through the water through elect electrode props when when the, the the tank is full some positive current passes through water to the bases of transistors TR1 TR2 TR3 and TR4. In these cases, all these transistors turn on and all LEDs are glowing except the LED5, which is off for the time being. No alarm is heard. They all remain in this state as long as water make a connection between positive supply rail and the basis of all transistors now let's assume that the underground tank is full of water so when water reaches the level level two or three or four in this here a positive a pulse is sent from the collector of the transistor to the base of the TR7 through either C1 or C2 or C3 and R14. The collector, then the collector of TR7 is now negative voltage at negative voltage and a negative pulse is applied to pin 2 of IC1 device in standard monostable configuration. The IC1 is triggered because pin 3 is high and some and the sound is generated for a few seconds to draw the occupant attention the occupant's attention. When the water drops below position of, of probe 1 here, the, this level, the TR4 is in cutoff state, its collector becomes positive. Both transistors, both NPN, transistor TR5 and TR6, get forward biased via, resist, via resistors and led or LED5, LED5 flashes become its TR6 
because TR6 base is controlled by a signal fed from the collector of TR4. Also, the positive voltage from the emitter of TR5 is applied to the circuits. The B stable, this B stable circuits, it arranges so that it always triggered to the state that operate the audio alarm when the water is below the level one. When the water level touch probe one, touch probe one, when we tend to feel the uh, over, uh, uh, the when we tend to feel the underground tank. Transistor TR4 gets forward biased and starts conducting. This causes the reverse biasing of transistor TR5 and TR6, which get cut off. As a result, this LED5 is no longer blowing and the alarm is mute. Now the, the circuits of the uh, water level indicator. As you may can see here, this is the circuit itself, and this is the behind the front of the water level indicator. These are the different uh, LEDs, which, in, which indicated the level of water. Okay, this is the transistors detectors here, TR1, TR2, TR3, TR4, this is the IC2A stable, the ICN mono stable, TR7 switch, TR8 and TR9A stable multivibrator. These leads, uh, these leads are used uh, to, to, be, to be put inside the, uh, the uh, underground uh, tank. All these one are fixed to the body of the of the water of the uh, water level indicator. These are the LD LD1, the LD2, LD3, LD4. This one is for the LD5 and LD6, the uh, supply switch, etc. These in this uh, slide we can see the main component required the IC1, IC2, the NE555, all the transistors are NPN transistors, and we have the buzzer, the capacitor, the LEDs, and the resistance. This is the list of the components required for the whole circuit. You can stop the video and you write them, you write them down. Thank you.